this might be multiple videos, but here's bag two, which is technically bag three I've opened. <laughs> Alrighty. Um... Again, some of these are also still going to be ones you've possibly already seen. There's one large canvas there. Okay. This is also a larger canvas. Oh, I know who this is. I got two of her. I thought in a 40 by 50 she might show enough detail. They have multiple of these ladies, different colors, and I wanted to test it out because I really do like some of them. But I was afraid in a 30 by 40 they wouldn't have enough detail, and seeing the 40 by 50s, I feel like I was right, and I'm not very impressed. So we have a lot of blues, some creams, grays, but it is a shade of blue type canvas. And sadly, I feel like she should look a lot better for the size. But I would hate to see what the 30 by 40 of this looks like if this is the 40 by 50. And this canvas has been beat to hell and back on the edges. And <laughs> so not only does it look like it's a rough render, it looks like it was handled in that manner. I do not know if this is going to flatten out well enough. <laughs> We will see, but at the same time, I'm not a huge fan of how the render looks. She does not have any eyes. I don't think she's gonna have any lips, because this looks like it's all gonna be skin tone, so there's gonna be no real face to her. And then this dress right now looks like a muddy mess. Maybe with drills on it, it'll look better, but I'm kind of doubtful. So, I am disappointed with this one, especially considering how nice the other ladies look that we opened in the 30 by 40. Again, there isn't a different amount of stuff going on. This long, flowy dress trying to be, you know, like a tone painting instead of a bunch of different colors, not being as close up on her face. So, like, there is other reasons, but sads. Hopefully the yellow one's better. Um, 25 colors. Give you a good look at that face. We again have our circles. The hair, I'm guessing it's supposed to be blowing around, but and then this dress, I can't make out what it's supposed to look like. So let's check out this girl. I'm not sure if they were both from the same person. If they are, my hopes for this one are non-existent. If they're not, hopefully this person knows how to render canvases better. So, again, I've seen a bunch of ones like this. They're ladies sitting in a crescent moon. There's one that has like a white dress and black hair. I really like. She only comes in a 30 by 40. And again, look how hard these look to read. I just. I couldn't imagine seeing it in a 30 by 40. 
anybody's done it in a 30 by 40 or you've seen anybody's video where they've done these in 30 by 40s. Can you link it to me so I can see what it looks like? So we have the orange, yellow, gray, red, brown, blues, pinks, creams. So she has a way bigger color palette than the blue shade one. I think they're from the same seller. The code looks very similar. Uh, HN0100 and HN0099. So yeah, this one was right after this one. Again, I don't know if those codes are like sets or just like each code goes up as they print another canvas. So if they print two that look alike, the numbers follow each other, but if they print two that don't look alike and they follow each other, the numbers still follow each other. I'm not sure how the companies work their coding for canvases. But she definitely looks better than the blue lady. She might actually have a face. Maybe? Maybe not. Again, if you're viewing it from a distance, that might not matter. But... And her dress definitely seems more readable. It still looks kind of muddy right now, but it definitely seems more readable. Again, these are kind of disappointing to me. Not what I was hoping they'd look like. Maybe some of you guys think they look good like this. Again, I'm picky and want them to look a certain way and doesn't mean that they're bad canvases for everybody. Just for me. Alright. She has 25 colors. Let's see if there's a face in here, shall we? I can't tell. Looking at it down here, I see a face. Looking at it up here, I see R's. I see circles. I, I see two like pink circles maybe where her lips should be. So there might be a face in there, but the dummy circles, the I'm having trouble with it. Oh, that light's reflecting on there badly and the bends of the canvas is not doing us any favors. So. She has cues. I don't know, again, hard to tell. This one I already have. I don't know if my mom knows that I already have it or not. I don't know if she has it or if she wants it or not. But I know I already have this one. It is a really pretty painting. I like how colorful it is. Kind of just screams, look at me. I'm going to just roll this back up with its drills for now so they're together. And I can straighten it out later to put with hers. This one, I like a lot of these. It's kind of a recent set that has been released of like Yang and Yang photos. Again, I wish I could get them in 40 by 40. Maybe I can on some of the other sites. I'm not sure. But that doesn't look too bad. The black cat's the cat I'm more worried about. The white cat looks really nice. And the glare from the light is annoying as can, all can be, but is that any better? So. They're kind of cool. Again, I'd really like it bigger, but it is what it is. So you're not really going to hear me say it much because I probably won't order a canvas if I think it should be smaller. But I 
do have a few that we've done that with, like um, my little alien rainbow cat and my long flowy gray haired cat. They look gorgeous, the amount of detail they have in that size, like, but I feel like you could easily have shrunk them down to a 30 by 40, a 40 by 50 and still had more than enough detail. I feel like they're ones that are kind of overboard in that size. So I probably won't order very many like that. So you probably won't hear me say that often. But I do think there is a correct size range for a photo. So you can get too big as well as too small in my opinion. So we already took a look at this one. It has 15 colors. Um, this dog goes with the white dog. Again, I saw these on Amazon and they were eight bucks a canvas and they're like three bucks a canvas or something on Timo. I don't know if this is identical to the other one I did. It looks like it might be identical, which means holy crap, do not buy it off of Amazon. Um, we're going to take a look. So we got creams. There's a green, but hopefully that's for the leaves. Pinks more greens, some browns, some blues. Cute little doggy. I don't know what breed this is supposed to be. I believe we talked about the Samoyed in the other one, the white one that goes with this. I said that there was like two dogs that came to mind that it could possibly be. And I asked you about the first staying white and one of you guys actually commented about it. So. We have a bunch of color blocking of like a white color. And the cute little puppy, the Z looks like it might be kind of a green shade and that's what I'm afraid of so like I said I have one of these and I'm curious if it's the exact same one okay so here we go it is the exact same one and I painted this one weirdly I wanted to know if this would turn out or not and the green is an issue You have the green right there at the bottom of the neck, around the jaw. Why? And that pink here in the head, it looks very pink in person. I don't know if the camera is making it look more cream. So I finished almost half his face. There's a few missing drills in there. Just to see if I liked it or not. I was going to return this one because I bought this one off of Amazon. Again, I paid about eight bucks for this when this one was like three bucks. But I think I missed the return window on this. So... It is the exact same painting. Same coat, same colors. I can take this into account when working on this one and change that color out so I don't have to rip all these drills off. And because I was going to possibly send this one back, I just kept it folded in the bag it was shipped in. Okay. So. That was that again exact same so I don't know if the seller is the same or the manufacturer is the same and they have multiple sellers this one you obviously don't know what it is my mom opened it to see if it was hers or mine ah I told you guys I didn't care for pink but this definitely screamed cute puppy Valentine's Day So we have like kind of orangish pinks and pinks and rosy pinks and <laughs> all different varieties of pink. Doesn't really, eh, maybe that gets into the red, but for the most part, it looks like it's pinks and there's like some darker brown type color for the dog. So we got this cute little, is it a chocolate lab? 
holding a little heart cookie with heart cookies at its feet and a heart in the background. Again, I thought I could do this as a Valentine's Day painting. I don't know why I decided I wanted to do painting for the holidays, but I decided I wanted to do paintings for the holidays. I don't celebrate holidays, so the most celebration of a holiday I get is doing a painting, I guess. And that's all I really care about, I guess. I don't really care about selling or writing, so I don't think I'm missing out on anything, but we got 22 colors. Those aren't D's and O's again. I, okay, no, the O's are in red. So, again, D's and brown, O's in red. Thank you, thank you. That cute little dog. Hopefully those eyes turn out okay. <laughs> Alright. We're getting there. So this gizmo was shown in... The other video as well so you'll be seeing this one twice it is okay it's dummy circles it looks pretty good i think it could look a little better but it definitely looks okay me saying it could look a little better is me being picky on this could look a little bit better it comes with the picture and the quantity the little diamond shaped diamond bags that are all loose in here not as bad as the small bags still a pain because they're all randomly thrown in here in no order and I like the first movie the other movies though eh. <laughs> so. little song that it sings Don't feed it after midnight. Don't get it wet. And whatever you do, don't put it in the sun. Something like that, right? So we have 20 colors. Mugwog? That's what it's called, right? A mugwog? Cute. Oh, this is another one of the horror creatures. I don't know this one's name. I know the movie it's from, but I don't know its name. It might not have a name. It probably does. I have watched these movies, but... So, from Pinhead, from... Hellraiser. My brain went blank on it to go get the name um so we got browns kind of a purplish color pinks more browns creams some kind of purple ish colors a little bit of orange and some black not as much black because it has a lot of brown black brown backing so this is from hellraiser again i don't know do they all have their own names i think they do but I only know Pinhead, I think. <laughs> With this, I think this is the last one I have for now. They have a uh, Hannibal. And it sold out. And it was Hannibal with his mask and he was on the little dolly. What'd you call it? Yeah, I guess it's a dolly. They had him chained to the dolly and he had his mask on and stuff. I really want that one, but every time I check, it's sold out. I think they've brought it back once. Hopefully they bring it back again. So we have 20 colors. A lot of black up here. And then we got the chains, which I'm curious how they're gonna look. Look at that big smile. Smile for the camera. 
Okay. So, a lot of black in the outfit. Again, it looks like everything should be pretty easy to read and work on. So we have this guy. I'm going to save the big ones for last at this point. This one I also opened for my mom. She got both of us it. I find it to be a weird image. I don't get why the fox has fur going off here and this long furry tail. Obviously it's more like a fantasy interpretation of a fox creature. We have a pretty purple. We have some red, some cream, some orange. Quite a bit of pinks. Nice red. DMCs are not on these bags, but they are on here. So again, if you guys like this one, then you like it, but I think it's just weird almost looks like it should have a mermaid tail down here. Again, the canvas has a bit of bends to it I'm hoping work out. They're not gonna work out if I leave them bent up because I wrap wrong. Make sure the canvas is laying flat and you don't purpose or accidentally fold it up under the top and keep the fold in it. It definitely will not come out that way. So. Oh boy, battery's down to 19%. Can we get this done with 19% battery? Face doesn't look bad for having that much other stuff on the canvas.